Hi, my name is Mayu. I'm here to give you a glimpse of Flask web application that we have developed in one of the projects. This project was about predicting customer churn, that is whether a customer will stay or switch to the competitors. The topic of this video is just to show you the web app developed as a part of this project. So we will not go much into the project details. Rather I just want to show you quickly what was the data in hand. So let us quickly see that. Here is the information about the data set. As you can see we had 4617 rows and 21 columns. So out of 21 columns, 20 columns were the features and there was one target variable which was churn. So using 20 features we had to predict whether customer will churn or not. So in this project we had trained several models and selected extreme gradient boost as our final model so now let's jump to the main part of the video which is the flask web application for flask web application we have created three files one is python file and remaining two are html files before we talk about flask application let me first show you the html files and how the corresponding web pages look like the first one is index.html and the web page looks like this. Here user can provide the inputs and can click on predict button to see the prediction. The second HTML file is predict.html and the corresponding web page is this one. As you can see if the prediction is yes then a red flag will be displayed and if the prediction is no then uh, a green button will be displayed along with that the page will also display a churn risk score for the customer and also some text uh, stating whether the customer uh, will churn or not so these were two simple web pages developed using html now let's come back to the app.py in this file, first we have imported all the basic modules. Then we also created an instance of Flask. And in the next part, we have loaded uh, serialized versions of model and preprocessor, uh, which was created uh, during the project. Now in the following part, we have defined two routes using uh, app.root decorator. The first root here corresponds to the home page and it will return a render template for index.html so which was this page so this is our home page and now the second root predict is triggered when a post request is made so when user click on the predict button this uh, this root will be triggered So as you can see, this route is used for handling the form submissions and make prediction based on it. And at the end it renders predict.html which is this file. So this was the basic Flask app. Now I have two uh, entries and we will see uh, whether uh, we get the correct predictions or not. So let's see with the actual app. Now to open the Flask application, we will switch back to the app.py file which we have created earlier. And now we will simply run this file. It will create a development server and also create a link which we can open. And this is our actual web application. Now as I already mentioned that I have selected to uh, entries randomly from the test data set and these entries are here so here are the two entries for two customers so this is the these are the entries for first customer and as you can see according to the data this customer churn now using the web application we will cross check whether we will get the same output or not so let's move to the web app and we will enter those values here 
so let me quickly enter those values then 1.43 and then 1 and let's see the prediction so according to the web page this customer will churn and as you can see this customer did churn according to our data set so the output is correct now let's also cross check for the second customer this time the customer did not churn so let's again go back to the web app and check it I will again enter those values 112.81 and then 0 at that and let's again check the prediction and it says the customer will not churn which is again correct according to our data set so as you see here the customer did not churn so our output is again correct so this was the web application that we developed in the last project hope you like it if you have any suggestions or comment do let me know i will look forward to them thanks for watching